Hello everyone. We all learn so many trigonometric formulae and strategies to solve these questions, but often we still find trigonometry very tricky. So in today's video, we will see the reason why it is so and how we can overcome this problem by following very simple tips. So let's start. So as always, let's take an example and analyze each step to see how exactly trigonometry can end up being so difficult. So here I have to solve this expression. Now in the first step, friends, I have simply substituted uh, the trigonometric ratio values like sine 30 is half, cos x 60 is 2 by root 3. So what concepts have we used over here? Yes, I have definitely used trigonometric concepts. So let me write that over here. Now in the next step, you can see that we have added and subtracted a few rational numbers. So if you only focus on the second step, do you see any trigonometry being done here? No, there is only rational numbers, operations being done on them. So can I say that here I'm using the concepts that we studied in rational numbers and maybe fractions, right? Now the same thing, if you see in this step also, I am taking the reciprocal, so rational numbers concept is being used. Now can you guess what is being done in this step friends? Yes, we are rationalizing the denominator, see? So I can write rationalization. So I am rationalizing over here and after this, we have used expansions. Do you recall a minus b the whole square, a square minus b square, those concepts are being used. So let me write here expansion concept. And here we should know what is 3 root 3 the whole square. So my knowledge of squares and square roots will be very handy. So let me write here squares and square roots. And finally, we arrive at the answer. Now, yes, this was a trigonometric question, but the trigonometry part got over in the first step itself. And after that, there was no trigonometry. We have only used rational numbers, expansions, squares and square roots. So apart from trigonometry, you also need to be good in these chapters, friends. And not just these chapters. Let me show you one more example. So in this example, if 15 cot A is 8, you have to find the value of sine A. So friends, in the first step, as you can see, we have applied the cot formula that cot is adjacent side upon opposite side. So which concepts have we used here? Yes, we have used trigonometry concept here. Now, can you guess what is being done in the second step? Yes, we have made it as a ratio. So you need to know about ratio. Otherwise, we will be left wondering how we got the K in this step right? So ratio is used here. Now because we need to find sine A, we have to find the hypotenuse and that's why we have used Pythagoras theorem. So see the trigonometry part got over here. We used ratio. Now we are using Pythagoras theorem and of course you need to know how to do the squares of 8k. So you need to know about squares and square roots definitely. And finally, we have used the trigonometry part again to find the value of sine A. So in this example also, apart from trigonometry, which chapters have we used? Pythagoras theorem, squares and square roots. Now, one more example before we conclude. So in this example, if tan 2a is cot of a minus 18 degrees, we have to find the value of a. So as you can see friends, in the first two steps, I have used trigonometric uh, concepts. So I've written cot as tan of 90 minus theta and then equated the two angles. So definitely we needed trigonometry concepts in these two steps. But after that, do you see any trigonometry being done here? No, there is algebra. See, we are shifting the like terms together and solving and getting the value of A. So we need algebra concepts. So in this example, apart from trigonometry, which concept is being used? Algebra is being used. So after the three examples, surely you would have guessed the reason why trigonometry is so tricky. Yes, the reason is that in trigonometric questions, you're not just tested on your trigonometric skills, but also on other math topics. See, these are some of the chapters, friends. If I've missed out some chapter, please let me know in the comments section. So we have to be good, not just in trigonometry, but also in these chapters. And that is the main issue. Well, now that we have identified the problem, what is the solution? Well, friends, the only solution is that you 
take some time out and check which of these chapters you are weak in. Suppose you are weak in fractions and expansions, okay? So take some time out, revise your fractions concept, go through the expansion formally, spend some time and then come back and solve the trigonometric questions. And believe me, you will feel a great difference. Your confidence level increases because now your foundation in fractions and expansions will be much better. So you will solve the same questions in a much better way. And friends, that is the only way of improving in trigonometry and I'm sure that you will. So if this video has been of any help to you, please like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.